what's up guys? Welcome back. Today we're gonna sit here and talk about a little bit about life and what is important for you might not be important for other people, but you gotta realize one thing. If you love something or you love somebody, you gotta put in the 100% effort to make that relationship or that activity succeed. Because if you're doing the same old things and you're letting your past get to you and dictate what you can or cannot do, you're always never going to succeed or progress your life. I know a lot of YouTubers always have corny corny videos about changing your life. Motivate, motivate yourself. But it's true. If you love somebody, if you love something, you should go for it 150%. You've only got one life one uh, opportunity, and it's like Slim Shady says in the uh, song that goes to the 8 Mile soundtrack, you got one dream, one opportunity, one time to shine, and eventually, let's say it's a girlfriend or a boyfriend you're trying to uh, move in with or uh, progress a relationship, if you're not giving it 150%, eventually, they will leave you based upon you not doing the things that you should do to progress that relationship from point A to point B. And if you love somebody, you should always put in 150% no matter what. Then it doesn't really matter. And at the end of the day, just because you tell somebody you care about them or love them or want to be with them doesn't necessarily mean you're showing them. There's a difference between showing somebody you're interested and actually meaning the words that you say and actually demonstrating, hey, I do love you, I do care about you, I do want to be with you. Because too many people sit there and, what's the word and what's the old saying? You don't know what you have until you lose it. It's because most people who have something they love or cherish, they get to the point that they're comfortable in the relationship and they get so comfortable that they don't even care and care about them and not just speak it and not actually uh, just talk about it because it's really important to actually show that person that you actually really love them and care about them and will do anything for them. It doesn't matter what it is. And in a relationship, really what matters is the little things, not the big things that people think more than that. And I come to realize that the girl that I'm dating, yes, I'll tell you for example, guys, we do live far apart from each other, right? A little bit over two hours from each other. And you guys go, wow, how long have you been together? Well, it's been over a year, right? Because we both got separate jobs, we've uh, met in separate towns, we met through Facebook to be completely honest with you guys. You guys really? Yeah, we're in a, 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 a music group, uh, like a Facebook group based upon music, and we both clicked and we met each other. And I'm not saying it's weird to meet online, I'm not saying anything like that, but I really understand that the person that I'm with, she cooks me fucking phenomenal dinners. Like, I'm talking about yesterday, she made the most phenomenal broccoli I've ever had in my life with a Chipotle style chicken, which I'll post a picture of. And you can see it, it was flavorful. And she realizes that's my favorite food, which is, I love broccoli and I love chicken. Chicken is my favorite all kind of meat, right? And she gave me the biggest piece, and I was like, damn, this is one of the most flavorful pieces of food I've ever eaten. And she made it because she realized I would enjoy it. Just like I, uh, when she's around where I live, I cook her some breakfast and everything. It's not about, oh, we could take you out to go get tacos or burritos or sandwiches. That's the difference. You would rather have somebody make you something, cook you something, than just sit there and go, why'd you take you out to dinner? There's a big difference between having somebody sit down and cook you a full-on meal Yes, a full-on dinner, even if it's not... It's more thoughtful that they'll go out of their way to cook you a full-on meal than it is for them to say, I'll take you out for a steak dinner at a fancy restaurant. Because realistically, anybody could take you out to a uh, 
fancy restaurant. Anybody could take you out to a burger place. And like I said, I'm starting to realize that the person that I'm with, she'll do absolutely anything for me. That doesn't even include, she'll go on a long vacation trip with me. She'll go to concerts to listen to music that she doesn't even like just because I invited her and because she knows it will bring me joy even though in realistic terms I like it to be something we both enjoy and something that we both will have memorable moments with. So for an example, the band Lamb of God. My girl went to a Lamb of God show even though she despises that band. She doesn't like the screaming kind of music. She more likes to listen to uh, Three Days Grace and bands like that falling in reverse. So I'm okay with that. But it's just cool that she was willing and uh, wanting to go to a Kill Switch Engage show with me last year. And I was like, see that? That's what I like. Somebody who will actually go out of the way to do something with you, regardless if they like it or not, just because they know it's going to bring you happiness and happiness and bring you joy. So I decided to go to a show in Tampa with her uh, in June, which will be Fallout Boys and Bring Me the Horizon. I'm not a Fallout Boy fan whatsoever. I kind of find that Boy Boys kind of corny that your partner wants to do. It's something you should think about, not just think about yourself like, no, I don't want to do that. You guys, this is actually the first relationship I've been in that I actually give two quality craps about and actually want to make it last and actually make it work. With that being said, guys, just remember, be there for your partner 100% and be there for them at all costs. Because for an example, my girl has accepted that I'm a workout uh, person. At first, she wasn't too like, like she didn't really understand how much I work out and why I do it. It helps with my mental clarity. It helps with my life issues, job problems, all that stuff. I take it out on the gym and it's not because I want to be the most ripped, the most in shape or whatnot. It just brings me joy when I get in there because I can take out all my negativity out on the gym. And that's exactly what the gym does. So she understands that I'll take an hour or uh, two when I go to the gym. She understands that's my time to go uh, relieve whatever I have going on at that point. It could be depression, emotional issues. But at the end of the day, she understands why I go and she doesn't judge the fact that I use that as like a coping mechanism I guess like a lot of people go and and drink or smoke weed which I don't have any problems with them smoking weed but some people go I just drink to take away my depression or whatever I use the gym and she's totally okay with that which I'm like that's the first person I've dated that actually understands why I go to the gym and why I do what I do and she'll be okay with it. She's like, okay, you wanna go work out? That's cool, go take you a couple hours at the gym and when you come home, you're gonna feel refreshed and feel happy. That's all that matters. So I'm grateful for that. But remember guys, the smaller Just remember that it's not all about buying vacation trips and buying gifts and all of this. It's actually about remembering their favorite color, their favorite things and remembering their dreams and aspirations and all the things they wanna do in life. Remember that's more important to a uh, relationship than just saying, well, I bought her flowers, that should do it. I bought her a necklace, that should be okay. No, a lot of times it's the smaller little things, like understanding what her favorite book is, or her favorite song is, or her favorite color, or uh, whatever the little things are. Just remember that, it's not all about spending hundreds of dollars on a steak dinner. Remember, actually making her maybe a, a little cup of coffee, or making her a little burrito is more, uh, grateful than just going out and paying money to do something when you can do it yourself. A lot of people like little things in relationships.